Good afternoon, all. Can someone please confirm if my screen is visible? Yes, it's visible. Yes. Great, thank you. We have waited enough, so let's get started. Well, I still see many, a uh, few people have joined today. Not sure if it is only today or people are dropping. Uh, so let's give them another five minutes, right? Uh, before we start any new topic, but we'll not wait for those five minutes. Uh, we'll do a revision or maybe question and answers, which I had shared uh, last Saturday when we had a session, right? Uh, after that, and I had given a task also, many of you uh, did the task, a few of you were getting some errors, and then we had a session at 2, uh, 2 p.m. where we uh, discussed, we worked, uh, one of them shared the screen, so whenever you have doubts or anything, you can uh, feel free to join these sessions. Those are not recorded, but we do help. Okay. So uh, before we start, let's spend five, 10 minutes on, uh, on question answers. Uh, it will give me an idea as well that whether you guys are studying or not, whether you're getting it or not, right? And once a few more people are joining, uh, let me see, okay, two more are joining. So once we have a good quorum, we'll start with a new topic. New topic is in same section of virtual machine, but new topic in VM. Meanwhile, guys, uh, also start uh, watching those networking videos because as soon as we are done with our compute topic under which we are discussing virtual machine, as soon as we are done with compute, we are going to uh, start discussing networking. We will be uh, discussing network topic, right? And to uh, work with Azure networking, you should at least have basics of networking clear for which I have sent the videos. Anyone who doesn't have the video, feel free to check in the group or I'll, I can resend it to them. But please watch the basics of uh, video. You should not have a uh, post doing that, post uh, watching those videos. You should at least understand what are the classes of IPs, uh, what is a public IP, what is a private IP, can they communicate? I mean, everything has been covered in those videos. So please make sure you watch those videos before we move to our network segment. As of now, I don't think so. We are doing that today and uh, not tomorrow, not in next session as well, because a lot of uh, things are pending in uh, compute or VM, right? But do start watching the networking videos. It's not like that, that you'll be able to finish them in one day. And that's not even a good uh, idea. So start watching them. So at least in these two, three weeks or two weeks, maybe uh, you will be familiar with basics concepts of networking. And then we'll start with Azure networking. Having said that, let's start with the questions answers so with the uh, task, which many of you have completed successfully. Uh, one mistake I, I saw here, guys, while creating the machine, what you guys did, a few of you, I asked you to create two machines in availability zone one and three, right? Region, I mentioned one, but I, it, it wasn't any uh, compulsion on that, right? So let's say if you are creating VM1, Few of you, few of you, what did you do? Availability zone, it's okay. Zone one, it's okay. And then you created the machine. And then again, started the process and then you selected zone three. And then you created the machine. This is not what I was expecting. We were, what we were trying to do there, it's you should have selected zone one and zone three. And automatically you will get two machines. You don't have to do that uh, frequently. You don't have to do that again and again. So this is how you had to do it. Okay, guys, uh, before we proceed with this one, I, as I said, we are going to go ahead with a few questions. So let's start. I hope you guys have read. Anyone has any doubt, by the way? We, though we had a session, we cleared many of those doubts. We discussed till anyone has any doubt. Okay, if not, let's proceed then. Uh, can someone confirm what is an Azure virtual machine size? Yes, Razak, would you like to try? What is an Azure virtual machine size? So the Azure virtual uh, machine size is basically the, so there are four parameters. Uh, so on basis of that user can select the size of uh, his virtual machine according to his requirement so that size uh, vary such as uh, memory storage networking uh, uh, yes cpu network uh, storage memory and uh, networking so on 
this four parameter the user can select the uh, i mean uh, the size of the system correct uh what uh, would you like to add one more point very uh, dominant point what else is related to the size which is directly impacting my pocket budget yes according to their budget right as the cost budget. cost is affiliated with the size every size will have its own cost okay and if it's not like that that i'm getting one cpu machine in 5000 and also i'm getting five cpu machine in 5000 why would i even think of one cpu right if i'm getting 10 cpu machine in the same price even if it is not required by my application i'll take the strongest machine right but no that is not the case so cost is affiliated can you, uh, I mean, not you, Razak, anyone else, can you name a few machine size or series in Azure, which you guys use uh, frequently? This yeah, question definitely comes as an interview question. That, okay, you've made machines, so uh, name a few size. And recently, I, I told you last time, one of the one of you uh, attempted the interview, uh, and this question was asked. So you have created so many machines, right? So what are the sizes available? There are few sizes are available depending upon our requirements. Mm -hmm. So uh, actually they are divided in between the series. So just like a B or D series for a general, a general for a general purpose, mm -hmm. in that we can uh, check their um, this size and all RAM, this size storage and the uh, iOS input output uh, speed of the machines. They are usually provided as per the um, series band for few series like uh, required high performance uh, just like uh, H series uh, CPUs or the machine sizes we can uh, provide their high RAM maximum RAM maximum input output and uh, maximum storage also uh, there are a few series in that uh, it's just like series E there is my memory optimization uh, is going to happen so this series it's okay, it's PCU... okay. Uh, sorry prabhat sorry to uh, it's prabhat who is speaking right and it's sunil sunil sorry yes sunil. got it you you have the correct rhythm i mean a, a lack of time so i'm not letting yeah, you complete got it. the answer but yes you are on the correct track this is how you have to answer mention few things in series and perfect this would be the perfect answer okay, okay. uh next one would be guys what are the two types of locks available in Azure and how do they differ in and in, in their different functionality? I mean, two types of locks or unki functionality. Anyone other than Sunil and Razak? Uh, in Azure, uh, there are two types of uh, lock. One is read only and another one is delete. In read only, uh, if we put the lock of uh, read only on the resource, then we can uh, uh, read only the means uh, Azure resources, but uh, cannot modify in that. All also and also cannot delete the resource. And in delete uh, in delete type of lock, in that we can modify also the resource. Means we can change in that, but cannot delete. This is the two types of lock in the Azure. So which one is strongest according to you? Delete or read only? Uh, read only is the strongest. Perfect. Uh, you explain the functionality also. What is the scope of uh, uh, a lock? What are the scopes of lock? Marie, uh, you can tell me. Accidental deletion, we can prevent the, no, no, from no, the... No. The question is scope. Uh, scope, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. At resource level and resource group level and uh, subscription level, there are three perfect so, uh, scopes. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. How can you apply a lock to a resource in Azure and what permissions are required to do that? Uh, I have not covered this, but I am. Uh, anyone has tried to figure out that which what type of access do you require to put a lock? Can I answer? Yes, please. I mean, obviously, an owner can do it. Okay, I'm not expecting that answer. An owner can obviously do it. Did you guys uh, try to find out the exact role which is required for the role uh, for the lock? 
Are you are you guys getting my question? See, my question is how can you put a lock? So how that is an easy. I'm sure you all of you have done that. I, I saw your practicals. All of you were able to do that. You know how you you have to go to settings, right? You have to go to settings and you have to put a lock. You know that very well. So how part is clear? My question is what role is required? What are the permissions are required which you need to put a lock? At the RBAC level, we require contributor or owner access. That is definitely will do. No, that, that will definitely do. Uh, RBAC may contributor or owner to carry paiga, but just to put a lock, I don't want to give you a contributor level of access. Yes, has anyone tried? If you go here. I am. As a reader, we cannot uh, apply access. I'm oh, sorry, apply lock. Sorry? Uh, I'm saying as a reader, we cannot apply lock. Oh, that is fine. Oh. That, that's okay. But who can apply the lock? That is the, question. That is, the question is who can put the lock? Uh, see, let me see if we have any. Did you say this one? Oh, Azure administrator, did you say? So take this as a homework, guys. Who can put a lock on resources? What kind of I don't want to I don't want to assign you owner access because that is too much. Not even a contributor access, that is too much because I want you to just put locks. I will be assigning you task just to put locks, remove locks, put locks, remove locks. Whenever you get a ticket, you have to put lock. Whenever you, you get a ticket, you have to remove uh the lock, right? Uh, guys, are you able to hear me? I got a message. Someone is not able to hear. Yeah, me. we can able to hear you. All right. So, are, are you guys getting my question? By the way. Yeah, got it. Right. So, mm -hmm. it's your job now, or it's your homework to go ahead and search that do you have any uh role here which is specifically deals with lock. Uh, is that got the it? Azure customer lock box approve or subscription? Go ahead and check that. Uh, who's that? Who answered this? Uh, Razak here. Razak, do you have a subscription access, uh, owner access at subscription level? No, no, I don't have. Okay, so I'll assign you the owner access and I'll assign you the global admin access also. Uh, you okay. create a user, you sure. create a resource group, assign this okay. role to that user, log in from that, that user, and then try to do this practical. Got sure. it? So guys, this is okay. also what we'll be doing nowadays. It's, it's not only you, you, uh, you will not be only using only your ID. Now to do the practicals and to check something, to prove your theory, to do the POC, you guys will have to create new users, your own user, uh, give any name. I mean, I, th there's no naming convention I'm following, but if, if let's say if uh, Razak is trying to do some practical, he has his own account, right? I don't want to touch this account. What I'll do, I'll assign Razak global admin role and ownership role. Why? Because I want him to create a resource group also and I want him to create a new user also. Hence, I'll have to give him this access. So Razak, what you can do, you can create a new user, maybe uh, Razak-1, something like this. Okay, it's up to you. It's up to you, whatever name you want to use. A new user, log in with that user, create a resource group for him and perform your practical and get the answer. And once that is done, you can delete that uh, resource group and uh, user or you can leave it up to you. Got it, guys? Okay, sure. Yes. Okay, and whenever I'm asking you guys to do a practical and share a snapshot, uh, what I expect, I mean, you most of you have done correctly. Just uh, perform the uh, practical, open, uh, open that uh, page, wherever, let's say, if I ask you to create a virtual machine and it is about availability zone, so you can simply uh, open the machine capture the snapshots and paste it in a word file and share that word file with me, right? Why are we doing this, by the way? So you can, uh, you, you get into a habit to create documents because most of the time when you go and you claim something that, okay, I've created a uh, hundred machines in a project. Interviewer will ask, did you do a POC? Uh, you should not be blank. What is a POC? So POC is a proof of concept. Yes, what is a POC? Uh, in layman term, if I tell you a sample flat, if you go and uh, look at the building, which is going to build thousand flats, right? 
so a customer who who comes to comes for a purchase will not wait ke wo 1000 flat mein se 500 ban jaye then main dekhunga they will always have a one sample flat ready okay this is one bhk sample this is two bhk sample flat if you take one bhk this is how your flat will be looking this is if you do take two bhk this is how your flat will be uh, appearing right so that is called sample flat usi ka version hai samajh lo proof of concept you are planning to do 100 machines client is not loving you to uh, deploy 100 machines immediately directly portal ka access nahi dega he'll say okay give me a proof of concept what exactly do you mean by that can you create a machine for me right? so that time you create machines you 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 select that size which you are uh, uh, suggesting him for his 100 machines you will select the same configuration everything same it's a sample virtual machine and you will not only hand over the machine but you will also create a document for that that this is what i did you will take the screenshot this is what i did ye normally hota nahi hai bahut kaam aata hai i mean you get administrator plus thoda bahut architect aapka agar ek if your solution architect is a good enough person who wants you to learn to wo dega aise kaam aapko otherwise they will not give this job wo bolega aap machine bana do document mein banata hu but if you want to learn and go ahead admin ke aage if you want to try for architecture wagera so yahan se you can start so creating a poc it's very important you should be in a habit ke aap isko proper banao uske cheezon ko highlight karo ke if i ask you to create a machine with standard size you created one take a snapshot highlight this okay this has been done highlight that the machine is stop etc tags have been done or usko you put in a notepad or or a word pad and then share it with me it 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 will serve two purposes i'll be able to check your work as well and you will be in a good habit to create poc POC इतना सिंपल एंड प्लेन नहीं होता है ऑब्वियसली जस्ट विद स्क्रीनशॉट्स यू विल हैव टू मेंशन डिटेल्स सोर्सेज एटसेट्रा वो हम लास्ट लास्ट एक दो सेशन में कवर करेंगे बट ठीक है दिस इज व्हाई वी आर डूइंग दिस अदरवाइज इट इज इजियर फॉर मी टू गो टू पोर्टल एंड चेक योर होमवर्क इन डिलीटेड इमीडिएटली रादर देन ओपनिंग एवरी डॉक्यूमेंट इट इज इजियर फॉर मी बिकॉज़ आई हैव टू ओनली लॉग इन वंस आई विल सिंपली गो हेड एंड चेक वर्चुअल मशीन सबके वर्चुअल मशीन्स मुझको दिख जाते हैं दैट इज वेरी इजी बट वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग दिस सो यू कैन से दिस इन योर इंटरव्यू uh so is this clear guys till here yes okay uh so you find that and this is what we are going to follow when whenever it comes for homework or something or task uh so as of now razak bhai you have one task that you will be uh, creating a user you will be creating a resource group for that user and you will try this you will assign a role i am not naming the role right And I'll, sure. I'll put this on your name. Wait, the task is to to check which role is good enough for logs. And uh, understand one thing, Rajagopal. You can assign him owner role or contributor, and your task is done. But that is not what I'm looking for. I want you to spend some time, right? Spend some time and search for. The minimum role, the minimal role. जितना भी कम से कम access दे दे सकता हूँ मैं वो role चाहिए. And if it is not there, the custom roles are always there. We'll see that later. Custom roles एक बार देख लेंगे हम. The custom roles are always there. But as of now, try to search the closest role. I am planning to hire a resource जिसको मैं uh, task देने वाला हूँ. Just to put logs, remove logs. Put logs, remove logs. That's it. इतना ही उसका task होगा. And I want you to find a role for him. Got it? Oh, चलेगा. Because what will happen, guys? When you start doing this, तब आप लोगों को ज़्यादा roles और ये पढ़ने की आदत होगी. Because if you say I have done, I have done, uh, uh, I have worked on this for two years, three years, और उसके अलावा आपको तीन roles के अलावा कुछ पता ही नहीं है ना, then वो थोड़ा सा doubt ये करेगा. This is the reason we'll be doing all these practices at Sectra. ताकि आप लोग उस वाले mode में आ जाओ where you, uh, you are practicing, you are working, right? So you will be able to say this. Okay. Next question will move to. Explain the scenario where you would use a cannot delete lock in Azure. I mean, why would you do that, guys? Anything? I mean, there is no right or wrong answer in that. Uh, uh, can you repeat your question, sir? When explain a scenario. Where will you use, or where would you use a delete lock? Cannot delete lock. क्या ऐसा सिनेरियो आ सकता है आपके माइंड में कि यार मैंने डिलीट लॉक लगा दिया उसपे? Critical resource. 
Yes, critical Already resource there. जहाँ पे accidental deletion हो सकता है where deletion you have avoid. Yes, where you have some new joinees etc. ठीक है similarly read only का भी same same जो है same ये हो सकते हैं. Okay. Uh, how can you remove lock? I'm skipping that question. I hope all of you know settings में जाना है delete करना है right? As far as you have sufficient access, then only it will work. If you are a reader and if you think I'll remove the lock, will it work? No. और लॉक निकालने के बाद भी आप वैसे ही कुछ नहीं कर पाओगे यू आर अ रीडर और लॉक निकाल भी नहीं पाओगे आप इफ यू आर अ रीडर यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू दैट ओके व्हाट हैपेंस इफ यू अप्लाई डिलीट लॉक एट द रिसोर्स ग्रुप ठीक है आई एम स्किपिंग दिस आई होप यू गाइस हैव रेड अबाउट इट ओके व्हाट इज द अजियोर वर्चुअल मशीन पासवर्ड रीसेट एंड हाउ डज इट वर्क कैन आई आंसर यस प्लीज यस टू रीसेट द पासवर्ड um we can uh, reset that from help option all we have to do is we need to uh, select that virtual machine from our subscription and then we'll go to the help option so we'll mm. scroll down and uh, mm. uh, the uh, reset password uh, from the reset password option we can reset the password and the condition is that uh, the machine should be running at that moment when we are changing the password but which password are we talking about here am i talking about my portal's password is virtual machine password right yes os password is it clear guys okay. by clicking a reset password i am not selecting i am not changing my login password is it going to change my azure id and password no it is going to change your virtual machine's os level password remember this jargon os level password be it windows or be it linux anything it is called operating system so it is os level password clear guys yes yes okay Are there any prerequisite condition uh, for the machine? You already confirmed that it should be in running state. What types of tasks operations can you perform in using a uh, run command? Okay, a small question. What type of task or operations can you perform on Azure Virtual Machine using the run command? And where will I find the run command? In the settings, we'll uh, get that run command. Okay. Where is it in settings? Uh, can you see? I hope you guys guys can see my screen. It's in operation. No, is it in settings is... or operation? Operation, operation. Yes. Yes, that is in operation. Okay. Okay. Now the question was, what kind, what types of task can you perform? Enable admin account, enable EMS. These are the custom yes things. Hey, no, yeah, it's okay. You don't even have to mention. You don't even have to mention custom. आपने इसमें से दो चार नाम ले लिया ना it's it's okay. You have given the answer. Run the script. PowerShell script in that. Yes. For ये ये सारे script ही हैं. ये सारे script ही हैं. The question was what kind of task. So इसमें से आप दो चार नाम ले लोगे ना तो भी हो जाएगा. But एक अपना अपना एक personalized experience भी बना कर रख लो. Okay, I remember there was uh, there was a task of creating ten virtual machines and we had to submit that uh, very next day. we created ninth machines were working nine machine were working fine everything was sorted but the 10th machine uh, just before handing over we were not able to log into that machine and we did not have enough time to delete that machine and create it so what did i do i i went to operations i went to that machine i went to operations i went to run command and from there i uh, ran a command to check user i used net user saw the user and then i used the password feature and i reset the password i logged into that machine and again i changed the use uh, Username or password, just be tricky. Whatever story you want to create it. I hope you are getting it right. Everyone can have their own story. The client को देना था, handover करना था, test machine थी, manager को देना था. Whatever you like. The ultimate aim is you should be able to speak about run command. एक flow में आपको बताना आना चाहिए. Okay, I went to that machine. I turned on the machine. I saw machine was turned off. I started the machine because run command doesn't work when machine is off. So I started the machine. I ran a command. Which command? One or two command. You can remember. You can click on the command. It will show up. Otherwise, the other day I, I showed you. Right? I started the machine. Then I ran a command. Which command? I ran a command of well, let's say verify RDP. I mean, you can't even do that. Net user wala command. Net users. I got the users, and then I went to uh, this one. I went to help. I went to password section. I went to reset password, and I I typed that user name here because I had got it. Where did you get it from? Right? I type the username here, and then I reset the I reset the password. Simple. Is it clear, guys? Yeah. 
Yes, 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 no, maybe, any doubts, any yes, questions. Yes. So this is how you have to speak. This is how you have to answer your questions. Now we have only 10 minutes left. Uh, we almost spent our first session in revision. And I have been telling you guys, we should not be following this practice. Revision may kick session on the sakte, but I don't want you to cap up this lab holds out and then agi kare uska bhi koi matlab nahi hoga. But please make sure you start reading these questions. Ini me se aate hai, definitely ini me se aate hai, questions and answers. Ini me se aate hai. So please make sure you start reading the questions. Please make sure you start doing the task. Okay, let's see and uh, let me check if I can cover something in 10 minutes. We were here. What all did we do, guys, from here? We logs I will show you later. Monitoring wala part overview. It's enough. Overview mein. We covered the part from here. One, one more thing, guys. Uh, resource group wala part. Jo tha na. Uh, many of you are not deleting all the resources. So please make sure that you delete all the resources, guys. Don't just delete the virtual machine from the virtual machine. The virtual machine pe Aap click kar dete ho and then you don't delete them. Uh, remaining resources, wo resources jo hai, look at this. Virtual network is here. Please delete that. The virtual machine network, it's not costing anything. Right? So I think now we have uh, many resource groups are clear. But I hope you understood that. What am I talking about here, right? Let me see if... Uh, okay, Sohan is practicing maybe. Hence, this is the reason he has kept... Uh, Two public IPs, but if I check virtual machines, there is only one virtual machine and he has two public IPs, which means a public IP jo hai, wo machine delete ho chuki hai, and he has just kept that extra wo aisa hi pada hua yaha, par unnecessary. So what are the methods, guys? Kaise main pata karu ki ye public IP kiska hai? Yes, guys. Any idea, any guesses? I want to see which public IP belong to this machine. So I can delete the other one. So we can go to the virtual machine. Okay. And IP config. I, uh, here uh, we can check the uh, IP address, private IP, which is assigned or the public IP, which is assigned. By the, what what is it? What what are we looking at? What is this case? Ye resource kya hai check karo. Public IP. Public IP. But then why would I go okay. and check private IP, right? Private IP question may be near upper. So okay. we are just bother about the public IP. But the IP hai, is this a con side? 235 wala con side IP. How would I know? We can click Open on and that check. We can IP click on it and uh, the IP which start with the 235, I mean, the IP which start with 10, no, no. Oh, This is going to apply filter. Yeah. Multiple ways, guys. Multiple ways. This is correct. Obviously, you can open. Second thing, look at the location. Search. Look at the location. UK South, UK mm -hmm. South location IP will never work on East Asia machine. Right? So, this is one method. This is East Asia. So, definitely, this IP belong to this machine. Right? Another one. Uh, IP will, unless you name it properly, IP will always take the machine's name. What is the machine's name? S O H A V M. So how VM. So how VM. Here it is, test one. Right? So which is clearly confirming that this is the IP which is assigned to that machine. So there are two, three methods you can check. Or the simplest one in this case, only in this particular case. You cannot delete all, obviously. And simply click come here and delete all. Do you think the IP which is assigned to machine and the machine is uh, there, even if it is stock location, uh, this one, will it delete the IP? If I click no. on delete, yes, it won't. Delete. No. So by default, it will delete. Jo assign nahi hai. Mera kaam yaha par ho gaya. Okay. So these are the methods you can you can uh, mention these methods in your interview. It shows that you have really worked. It shows that you really know the workarounds. But what you uh, mentioned earlier, that that is also correct. You can go to this IP and check here. Okay, is IP in the name IP guys by exactly IP con size? So this is 235. It is 235. Right? This also you can do. But let's say that I'm telling you there are 15 IPs and only one of them is being used. Only one of them is being used. 
तो मैं सारे पंद्रह पे जाकर क्यों देखूंगा राइट आई डिलीट ऑल ऑफ देम एन एक रह जाएगा बाई द वे आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू डिलीट एनी ऑफ इट बोथ ऑफ देम आर नॉट बींग डिलीटेड राइट that's just a shortcut just sharing okay. it with you so you can share it in your interview as your experience right mm, mm. so let's start with this then guys we have tags is it clear to everyone do i have to explain it we have 3 minutes let, let me explain it quickly at least ek topic to cover ho jaye bahut chhota sa topic hai so tags are nothing guys but they're very important bahut chhota sa but very important why is it important because imagine now you have only one or two machines imagine you have thousands of machines and now you want to pull some data some reporting some monitoring report etc then it becomes very difficult i have thousand machines and now i want to know that uh, which are the prod machines you will never come to know which are the prod machines but if you start using tags environment theek okay, in, in environment this is completely free whatever name you want to give and prod अब मैं सब पे इस तरह के सॉरी वेन एवर आई क्रिएट अ मशीन माय बिल शीट विल हैव द टैग दैट एनवायरमेंट टैग शुड हैव प्रॉड राइट ओनर हियर इन दिस केस ओनर मतलब वो वाला ओनर नहीं बोल रहा हूं मैं जो आर बाइक वाला ओनर इट्स नॉट द ओनर हु ओन्स द मशीन हु ओन्स द एप्लीकेशन यहां पर मैनेजर बीपी वगैरह इनके नाम होते हैं ठीक है सो लेट्स से इन दिस केस सोहन ओन्स दिस मशीन सोहन Now don't get confused ki already yaar iska resource group pe naam to hai can't we go you i told you right hamesha aapke naam ke resource group nahi milne wale hai so who's the owner of the uh, this one it's different thing uh, and resource group ka naam kabhi nahi hone wala uspe ye resource group ho sakta hai prod wagera koi bhi resource group ho sakta hai east us kisi bhi tarah ka aur application ka naam people soft wagera kuch bhi resource group ho sakta hai but usme i have machine called sohan I, and that machine's environment is prod now imagine aise aapke paas 1000 se 10 2000 machine hai now you want to pull some data so that time guys you can use these tags ke theek hai tag mein run karo jitne bhi machines jiska owner sohan hai i want a list of that now you got 100 machines but isme prod aur non prod dono hai now put another filter environment should be prod now you got a list of 50 servers and now you have your final list now whatever you want to do with this uh, ki uska billing kitna ho raha hai jo bhi check karna hai that is a secondary thing but for filtering for monitoring purpose for other details you can use tags is it clear guys to everyone why do we use yes. tags by the way you can say this is case sensitive okay this in owner and this owner these are two different tags oh, oh it's good no it's not taking so it's not case sensitive anymore okay it's it's good now you can't have the similar name so it's completely fine let me see again ha ah, it is not taking great got it guys why are we using tags in this one yes. this one you can use when we learn policy using as your policy you can enforce this if i show you my uh, subscription if i create any virtual machine even if i don't put a tag i have enforced a policy That ये कंपनी नेम का टैग जो है अपने आप आ जाना चाहिए यू कैन इनफोर्स द पॉलिसी ऑन दैट लुक एट दिस वन ये अपने आप आ जाता है इफ आई क्रिएट न्यू मशीन ना वो अपने आप ही आ जाएगा विल सी व्हेन वी लर्न द पॉलिसी ओके सो दिस इज टैग्स वेरी सिंपल बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी रिक्वायर्ड इट फॉर पुलिंग द डेटा फॉर मॉनिटरिंग फॉर मॉनिटरिंग पर्पसेस लेस देन 30 मिनट 30 सेकंड्स आर लेफ्ट इन दिस सेशन गाइस सो लेट दिस लेट मी डिस्कनेक्ट दिस वी विल टेक अ ब्रेक ऑफ 5 मिनट्स आफ्टर टू कन्वर्ट दिस रिकॉर्डिंग इट वाज गिविंग सम एरर and i'll see you guys at uh, 345 using the same link and we'll start a new topic okay guys same okay. link 3 okay. uh, 345 5 minutes break okay